deeper and deeper I go. I find what it is I should know. Cause it's just a matter of time. But you'll reawaken your mind. Oh, come with me. Come to know and find out what is true. Then you'll know what's in store just for you. No more living a lie. I can look to the sky and say I'm reawakening mine. Come to know and find out what is true, yes. Then you know what's in store just for you. No more living a lie. I can look to the sky and say I'm reawakening mine. Happy holiday, Moors. Welcome to House of Reawakening Minds. House of Reawakening Minds exists to provide for the exploration and practice of spirituality in an enlightened community dedicated to honoring the myriad of sacred pathways to the universal creator. We are a holistic center for spiritual grounding, free thought, self-discovery, and Moorish science, an awakening experience for all ages. Tonight, we are pleased to present our National Grand Sheik, Taj Tariq Bey, as he presents a very important Moorish Science Civics class. But before we get started, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Now let's receive Grand Sheik Taj Tariq Bey. Thank you. Grand evening or grand afternoon to all the bodies politic and to the Moorish nation at large, to humanity at large, and to all of the women, men, sisters, and brothers who have been supporting the House of Reawakening Minds and uh, doing what they can to assure that we are able to continue to share information with you. One of the things I wanted to share with you uh, tonight in context with other um, subjects that have come up is a bill of particulars and the nature of a bill of particular which in its nature is a is a countermand for a rebuttal of actually a bill of attainder via tax office um dealing with um this particular one uh, and i'm pretty sure the brother won't mind me uh using it we are uh, constructed this in uh, august of um uh, uh, 14, um, 2014, and uh, this was used to rebut uh, Bill of Attainder claims, which which tax is a Bill of Attainder that's levied against people's private property. And as you are aware, most people, because of uh, the uh, animal husbandry training that they've received from the Board of Education operatives, are not aware that private property by law is not taxable whatsoever. And many of them have not been told by their so-called leader groups, uh, whether they're claiming to be religious or whether they're claiming to be national or any other uh, adhesion type systems of relating to you, your natural being your rights, your property, your birth rights, etc. Uh, many of them who should have uh, informed you in these matters have not because many of them are receiving and have been receiving kickbacks from corporate operatives who have been calling themselves uh, falsely constitutional officers of the republic's orders of uh, political uh, platforms um, that are affiliated with the States United or the United States Republic in treaty with the Moroccan Empire operating at North America on the land and with civil jurisdictional powers limited to constitution and treaty operations. Distinguished from any and all corporate entities styled as the United States of America Incorporated or any entity operatives of the states of any of those entities where you see the states of 
as a paradigm in their corporate construct, you already know that that is de facto distinguished from de jure. As an example, uh, to be clear with you, uh, this particular bill of particulars was issued uh, to uh, persons who are contracting and employees of um, the township known as Pensalkin Township, uh, New Jersey. And um, this dealt with a bill of uh, attainder uh, dealing with a, around 10,000 uh, Federal Reserve notes in specie. And so one of the arguments that was made in this bill in particular is the issue of specie logically distinguished from dollars because they do not deal with uh, Yakum dollars or, or gold coins in violation to the Constitution for the United States and all treaty violations, which are both the supreme law of the land. And knowing that um, most of the people have not been taught basic, basic elementary civics, uh, we decided, particularly after the last session we had dealing with a meta civical view on um, uh, chapter one of the Circle Seven Koran. Uh, we're dealing with issues that are still dealing with the restoration of the estates and the birthrights of the people of the land, commonly refer referred to as Aboriginal peoples and others who have been with us who are also referred to as Indigenous peoples, etc., distinguished from the occupational particular uh, hybrid Europeans who have been occupying under de facto government uh, styled as the private um, Jesuit corporation known as the United States of America Incorporated, etc., which has gone bankrupt approximately four times, and the um, the owners keep changing uh, little aspects of their game and continuing it even to this day. But knowing also that many of the people who have been suffering under uh, their de facto jurisdictional rulership, uh, which is absolutely de facto, unconstitutional, unlawful, etc. But by most people not being taught basic civics, they have not been aware that they are dealing with a, a body of organized criminals who have been impersonating government, particularly, particularly since 1871 uh, officially, but in actuality, since 1861, after March the 27th of 1861. So keep that in mind. So when you're looking at the Bill of Particulars, uh, you would also think in this manner, and uh, write this down so you can make reference in your consciousness in your later questions. Uh, Quanto, Quanto, Q U O. Capital W A R R A N T O for Wanto. And keep in your in your in your state of mind of um, an averment of jurisdiction. Also keep in your state of mind uh, a mandamus, things of this nature. Uh, these are the state of mind that you should be in at all times when you're dealing with anyone or any being, any person, any employee, any contractor, any business person or uh, being claiming to have taxing authority at all. Whether it's a penny or whether it's more than a penny, the principle remains the same. If there is no counter or rebuttal to their position, which it has not been particularly with our people, and particularly with many people among our people who have been uh, involving the lives of our people in organizations, clubs, institutions, uh, whether they're religious, political, etc., that have not informed them of these fundamentals, um, the evidence is uh, self, it's self evident once you have a, con a concept of what we're talking about tonight, that there are uh, two things disingenuous 
or incompetent or a combination of the two. And the fact of the matter is when someone is in a position of authority or in a position of scholarly leadership, keep this in mind, that ignorance of these principles are no excuse and are never to be excused. However, because over the generations they have been excused because they're usually uh, hiding behind uh, um, words that we respect, such as Buddha, Confucius, Allah, Muhammad, Jesus, etc., and our people get starry-eyed and not thinking that these people are really uh, parasitic in their operations with you, distinguished from actually serving you or helping you in any manner. So a bill of particulars is um, one uh, uh, nature of writ which should be standardized in uh, all communities and particularly in the Aboriginal communities of Moors who have been uh, falsely tagged and with nom de gear such as Negro, Black, Colored, etc. All of those are nom de gear. Keep that in mind. And nom de gear are essentially what is also known in the vernacular of uh, servitude as slave, and that's connotative, slave tags or brands. And because m many of our people have not been uh, schooled in basic etymology, uh, of those are basic grammatical skills, they're not aware that many of these things or words and terms that we have taken for granted were actually nom de gear and no one informed you. Meanwhile, many of these people who should have informed you are always talking about gods and devils every two minutes and yet uh, are void of basic elementary comprehension of operations of civilization that operate on this planet um, since time immemorial. And it's not to condemn or to knock or to negatively uh, put down or criticize people who have been subjected to uh, that mind control system. However, we cannot continue to sacrifice generations by not telling them the truth of how things actually have been operating. And, and so that their energies, their finances, uh, their time, their services, and their honor can no longer be stolen and abused or, or misused by people claiming to be their so-called leaders or spiritual guides or preachers or imams or rabbis or etc whatever titles of adipship that they may carry that's not condemning the adipship principle it is all it is by the way condemning those who have uh watched the people suffer and have been playing it safe or what you would uh, i would prefer to say or uh, not wanting to rock the boat while pretending that they fear no one but God, fear no one but Allah, fear no one but Jesus, etc., while guiding the people or misguiding the people who have, they themselves, who've also been taxing, whether they call it tithe or not, tithe is a Roman tax, that's where the word tithe come from, and then not telling them the truth about how things have been operating and how and why they've been suffering at the hands of people who have been de facto and fraudulently and impersonating and occupationally claiming to be government and have been causing damage to families for generations. A bill of particulars is one writ that is in the nature of the Quaranto, but also in the nature of discovery. So write that down too, discovery. And, and so that's in your frame of reference too. So I'm gonna share with you an actual um bill of particulars i'm not going to read all of it because it's actually six pages and this was constructed in um uh august in the uh, moon august moon in the uh of um 2014 ad 1434 mc etc um and it comes like this legally hyphen, lawfully competent, colon, 
and I won't use your brother's name or appellation at this time. And we have his appellation and his ex relation or the estate name that is used by the corporate operators in their straw operations of taxation. And of course, many of you already know by law to reclaim the, uh, the heritable positions that were lost during a uh, serve for servitude, which is known as the straw that uh, by virtue of honoring your mothers and fathers, the um, political and civil operations of restoring that proper status is referred to as nationalization. That's universal on the planet. Whether you're dealing with uh, the construct of the political order itself, the constitutional political order of any nation state and or the people's true nationals or so-called citizens of a particular nation specified, specific, and established for the fact and for the record, never assumed. Therefore, as an example, if someone is claiming to be um, a nation of any type on planet Earth, and don't teach nationality, it's immediately aware, uh, made aware to anyone that understands principles of civilization that such persons are committing a fraud against the people. I.e., it's sort of like um, anyone who claiming, who's claiming to feed people and uh, taking finance from people, talking about agriculture and talking about being farmers and then not teaching uh, uh, order culture and farming to the people who they're taking finance from and they have them in these organizations for decades and talking about feeding the poor and uplifting the young and then don't teach them these things a being who knows what these things are knows that such persons are committing a fraud against the people and thus in order for people in organized bodies politics which happens all across the planet which you see nations and nation states etc and if they're void in the operations of nationality at any point in their relationship to others they can be and usually are made subject to all uh, mistreatments abuses economic deprivation estate theft um it's also called as cheating which constantly goes on in targeted communities at north america often miss miss um called uh gentrification and things like that that's a diversionary statement for as cheating of estates keep that in mind um so uh, a bill particular issued by yourselves or your family members or anyone who comprehends fundamental, this is keep in mind, fundamental civics. We're not talking about anything complex, fundamental. Uh, but because people have not been familiar, it may seem not so familiar with many of you. However, get familiar with it. So we're gonna go into this bill of particulars. I wish you could see uh, directly this uh, uh, because we've been so busy, actually around here, very busy. <laughs> Um, that we haven't had time to post some of this. And because it's private, uh, it's another reason that I, I did, we didn't post it. And um, Dr. Nail may share it with you in the future with the, uh, with the nomin and the uh, appellation marked out, but the principles of the structure will be there uh, for you to analyze and for you to critique as well as for you to use as a not necessarily as a template but a template in concept even if you expand on it or reduce it in order to counter any claim of any beings that claim to be tax collectors in any sort of any type in relationship to you the natural being or your estate etc so keep in mind this while we're going through this bill of particulars Private properties are not lawfully taxable. 
So keep that in mind. All taxed private property, like your homes, your houses, your cars, etc., is, was, and is theft and a fraud from the door and is part of the problem. The Bill of Particulars, for those who know, is one of the instruments that is used to counter such fraudulent beings who have been criminally using the platform of government to actually extort, rob, and cheat people by the day. And they've been getting away with it for generations. Bill of Particulars. Legally, lawfully competent. Appellation of the being that's sending this out. With a notation of the ex relation nomen that is used in everyday affairs, often known as the straw. In propria persona and solo proprio, Joris consults. Moorish American, free white person, lawful heirs, natural freeholders, by birthright, non-U.S. citizens, demandants, non-demandants, non-U.S. citizens. That's very important because part of the operations that they're classifying the people as U.S. citizens, which is actually a stock designation, not a designation of natural living beings. And people have not been made aware of that, which is also why they, why they never have Whenever you see them um, dealing with people that come from other territories, et cetera, and they'll say U.S. citizen, but they will not issue a nationality card because the U.S. is not a nation. It's a private farm for profit, actually human trafficking corporation, and it always has been from the door. And it's de facto in, in every aspect. Unfortunate truth, but it is nevertheless the truth. Um, handle it. Uh, I know it's uncomfortable for some of you who have been mis miseducated, misdirected, but it, however, is the truth. The truth is for everyone, however, many don't want the truth. But for those who want the truth, I'm glad that you're spending a little time with us here at the House of Reawakening Minds, and we will share it with you. The reference of this notice of a bill in particular is a reference of quote unquote 29 bill of attainder 10,000 in specie lawful money mark letter of mark for international tort and violations of treaty 1786 1787 1836 treaty of peace and friendship Moroccan empire the treaty was sealed at morocco with the seal of the emperor of morocco June 23rd, 1786. Now keep in mind, when you're making reference to the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, you actually have multiplicity of treaties that actually come under that banner, etc. So whether you're talking about all uh, the Jay Treaty and other treaties, etc., Treaty of Tripoli, all of them are related. So keep that in mind. So you have multiple territories under the Moroccan Empire that span from the eastern hemisphere of the planet into the western hemisphere of the planet. And when you're making that reference, you're talking treaty enforcement. And when you're talking treaty enforcement, you're talking constitutional enforcement. They are looked at and comprehended by all people in government and all true scholars as one and the same instrumentality in obligatory nature. This is why they do not teach civics to particular people who have been targeted un under the Christian black codes and who agree to be black under those codes and have been abused for centuries by their consent of being something or claiming to be who and what they are not. The other problem that you have is people have confused their organizations, their clubs, their little uh, prayer institutions uh, and have, have contaminated themselves spiritually by equating the little social solace systems that men have created, confusing them with your pedigree or your bloodline, your birthright, divine,
crystal stream that runs from your heart through your body given to you by your mother, which is your nationality, which stands supreme and is not to be equated with the clubs that you may belong to, whether you call them Muslim, Christian, Jew, or whatever tag that you put on them has nothing at all or whatsoever to do with divine operations from the source of creation, etc., which is not to be contaminated, contaminated. So therefore, your concept of operations, your concept of thinking are to be contrary to anything that corrupts the blood. So there shall be no corruption of blood. And whenever, and also look at that as a phrase, corruption of blood, and then look that up because that's another subject matter in its own right. And so we're, this instrument is also a countermeasure to corruption of blood. The straw man operations is designed for corruption of blood. The um, the different uh, pharmaceutical operations established by the hybrid Europeans to inject into the uh, bloodstreams of the people is a corruption of blood and an indirect attempt to distort and to remove you from descendability by virtue of patent, putting a patent on your actual physical blood by virtue of injecting you with patented instrumentality of things that they have called many names uh, that are alleging to make your life better but are actually designed to steal your birthright. And that is not discussed. And also, if you go in that area, they will block that information because they really still, on multiple levels, do not want the people to recognize that when they interject foreign substance within your bloodstream by any format, they're also in the background creating bonds against it and on patents and claiming under the Unum Sanctum, the Dumb Diverses, and the uh, Intercaterra Divina operations of the Popes of Rome via the Jesuit order, etc., and, and with their military operations known as the United States Corporation that has been fostered onto the planet under the guise of a nation, which it is not, was not, never will be, um, and has been fraudulently operating, going to and fro the earth, devouring nations. And finally, um, we have the what you would call the gift from our ancestors of people beginning to wake up and to reject these people and their order of false constructs. And whether uh, they are um, Asiatic or hybrid Europeans around the planet, they are arising and starting to reject the fraud, the impostorship, the occupation, the de facto operations of the Jesuit order, and the club members of the crown of the Circle Church and Chancery operating from Fleet Street, England, uh, operating the judicial systems in violation of treaty and constitution that has been creating, managing, and profiting from the wars uh, in most of your modern and contemporary times have been actually initiated by, funded by, uh, managed by, and profiting to members of the, of the Circle Church and Chancery who are also members of the Roman Curia. So in the nature of this bill of particulars, you're talking to all of them. However, in the more direct, you're talking to a person who may claim to be um, the tax collector for the city of Pennsylvania to you, uh, and you owe us a water tax, and you owe us a property tax, and we're going to put a lien on you if you don't uh, um, respond positively to this corporate operation. Excuse the fire engines in the background. Noise. Um, and many of our people 
not being aware of what that really is have been submitting to it for a few generations and logically the children have learned from their parents not knowing that their parents didn't know better and so uh, when the communities of the people have been suffering politically economically and socially they've been falsely trained under animal husbandry to use the misstatement called racism and prejudice as a diversion of what's really going on when the problem was and is to this very day birthright theft a birthright theft and as cheating operations by uh, members of the Roman Curia disguised and impersonating themselves as US government officials and states of New Jersey states of Pennsylvania states of Delaware um, municipal um, pseudo officers who all of which have not been constitutionally sanctioned nor can they present to you a quo warranto proving their authority so the bill of particulars will in its nature also be a quo warranto so back to point i'm going to that's why i say we can't um read it all but so that you can understand the nature and comprehend the nature of the bill of particulars i ran off some of those things to to correct the concepts that you may have already or that that you may develop when you hear this but this is the state of mind that you're to be in so one so the jurisdiction is i.e private commercial residential status and that's the status that they have um put the people in and when they're taxing as an example people's homes and the people have not been uh, um, aware of those different statuses. So when they're doing what is known as taxation, so write this down and get very grounded in all of these areas, because this is where your taxation uh, issues will arise. One will be private, one will be commercial, one will be residential. Study each one of them and be clear on what does not apply to you in fact distinguish from what they have said applies to you and you did not counter it or you did not know the difference one i and then you put your appellation further demand verifiable copies of any quote unquote original contracts and or copies of any quote unquote endorsed consensual agreements quote unquote that gave rise to and are known or willing authorization or consent to the current classification status of the said estate private property geographically located at or near and then you have there the number the number of um that's placed on it of uh, the um the property politically placed upon the property known commonly referred to as an address and keep in mind the address does not actually apply to the property the address that's given to a a, a, a location is actually a a private foreign tax assessment classification designation as an example uh when people would say to you what is your address know that any address never belongs to you so you don't have an address an address is a tax assessment number that is politically given fraudulently to private property in order to misclassify it to tax it and this was accelerated particularly since the um um delano roosevelt uh, administration in the 30s although it was also initiated earlier those of you who have um your libraries intact intact 
do a little research on taxation, do a little research on aboriginal titles distinguished from mortgages and deeds, and allodial titles distinguished from mortgages and deeds, and timelines particularly relative to 1913 when Woodrow Wilson met with the bankers and the members of the Circle Church and Chancery at uh, Jekyll Island off the coast of geographical Georgia, um, located at North America. Now, so I demand verifiable copies of these instrumentalities when they're making a claim, right? And so um, you want to uh, have uh, copies of all original contracts, all authorization or consent forms, mm -hmm. and if it does not contain on any of those instrumentalities uh, your appellation or uh, autograph or what they refer to as signature understand the claim that they make is not valid uh, and is in fact a fraud. An assumption of consent is not sufficient in law. However, most people never challenge and therefore deny their own standing at law uh, in relationship to their estate, not being aware that the estate is theirs and not uh, the property of the corporate state of New Jersey, nor of the corporate agencies and corporate owners of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, or any other municipality and its operatives who have been taxing the people's private property and have built their private wealth upon that for generations. Logically, not morally, not ethically, but logically, uh, such persons and such beings do not want this information being shared with you, but you already know how we've been rolling with the or order of the roundtable and also um, at the House of Reawakening Minds. Because this is uh, goes into the reality of the politics, and of course it takes the people, uh, it challenges their uh, third dimensional thinking that they've been trained in under the animal husbandry operations of the General Education Board of 1902 that has been operating pretty powerfully, not just here, but around the world and has caused much damage against the human family. And by many of the people not being aware of it, uh, they take offense at the truth instead of offense at the false information that they've been trained in for generations. So now number two, in your command uh, in this uh, bill of particulars, and it's also in the nature of discovery what it is. Two, as the township of Pennsauken Incorporated Tax Commissioner, Tax Collector, Tax Assessor, and Township of Pennsauken Corporation Attorney, did you know that New Jersey State Republic is distinguished from the state of New Jersey Incorporated? 1844, and that the state of New Jersey is a private corporation foreign to the Constitution for the United States, states united, and that no corporate entity which does not have an existing valid taxation law sanctioned by a de jure constitutional Congress for the United States, which by quo warranto via Article 3 only grants the power or the lawful authorization for any constitutional officer or person to collect or lay an excise tax on property. Answer, yes or no. Keep this in mind when you're sending this out that they can't ever lawfully say they don't know because they do know and if they didn't know, they had no business holding that office. And keep in mind, under law, that any contractor or employee or officer of any state, et cetera, or municipality or any governmental position at all that puts any tax burden or claim of authority 
on the nationals or the citizens can never by law by any process claim that they did not know the law color of law excuses are void at law in law at every junction or claim they can never be rebutted in other words no person or entity operative or contractor that say they didn't know the law is ever excused however they've been saying that to you and the real deal is that applies to them and they've been screwing you robbing you getting wealthy off of you and actually vesting in instrumentality and organizations and corporate constructs that actually further have injured the people back to the full warranty if there is pardon me i apologize this is number three if there's any objections to the above facts then please provide the substantive evidence to prove and this is your this is your request to such persons who keep claiming to be government keep this in mind thing is freezing up on me I think <laughs> this is so funny whenever I get whenever I get on um, start getting into really information that really helps the people they start messing with this is why I have no reason why I don't use the maps they start messing with it they, they starting with this fourth of July stuff all right yes um if there's any objections or are any objections to the above stated facts then please provide substantive evidence to prove the above facts to be in error, to be false, to be incorrect, or to be untrue. I demand that you provide the constitutional laws, constitutional acts of state, congressional acts, de jure legislation or provisionaries that grants the authorization of the state of New Jersey for the Township of Pennsylvania, Assessor, Division of Taxation, Division of Revenue Collection, etc., to exercise such authorities. And you can see why they're getting upset already. And um, what's happening also as I'm talking to you is that it's actually, every time I move the cursor, it's skipping and it's jumping. Didn't do that downstairs. <laughs> didn't do that before but i you know you already know how that rolls and you know what's going on right now but conceptually so the bill of attainders is uh in its in itself uh um a construct of a quo because you're commanding of them the evidence the discovery and the quo nature of their claim in doing so particularly when you do it officially on paper and particularly if you're flying your colors, that means your, your national flag, etc. Now it becomes an international issue, which it always is anyway. Um, and of course, uh, fundamentally, if you're dealing with um, valid or honorable so-called mm, leadership or so-called spiritual guys and all that stuff, to keep talking about divinity etc um it is their position to challenge and is their position to then what you would call switch their ministerial hats into their consular position and counter the claim of the foreign state intruding on the jurisdictional territories of the nationals or the citizens of another state it's called acts of state write that down so you will comprehend acts of state quote unquote acts of state that you must these things that i'm mentioning to you are necessary in your basic uh comprehension or your basic knowledge of uh, areas so that the concept of the bill of particulars or a mandamus or an abramment of jurisdiction etc can be comprehended why uh it is done and your obligation to yourself as to why it is done 
and the fact that you do it and the, uh, the uh, other fact that you never neglect doing it. And also why these fundamentals and expanded, because this is very simple, basically what we're talking about right now, but the nature of this conversation should be common in our communities. You should not be wasting your time marching and praying and sitting around talking about racism, which is all total diversion and mind control systems. Um, that's not to condemn people who have good intentions. However, good intentions does not make a good surgeon. So get away with the dirty butter knives. Um, and the same thing with operations in government, etc. So again, Kowancho. Now I'm going to because it keeps skipping, so I'm going to I'm going to deal with what's there. So as they interrupt, nature, divine nature, will come in and rescue. Anyway, nine. Since the Congress for the United States are the only lawful legislative body that has delegated authority to lay and collect taxes, then who and what entity authorized the Township of Pensalkin Incorporated Board of Taxation, Tax Collectors and Tax Commissioner and the State of New Jersey Incorporated and or its employees to lay and collect property taxes? answer and you have a space for them to answer because they go like they you know like they send stuff to you oh this is a summons to come to um you're going to be a juror you know like they send you stuff you're supposed to be sending them stuff but you're going to do it competently and so these things are uh, a bill of particulars uh and also discovery and probantos are the nature of your instruction as being nationals of the land and those of you who are who think that you're citizens of the nation state because remember the united states is not a nation therefore you're not citizens of the united states but if you think that you are you're already in trouble and i know it's it's, it's really difficult for a lot of people because the logic for all of us is to honor the fundamental principles of government and uh, to be a part of a legitimate governmental structure under what has been called citizens duties and uh, social duties because we have basic social duties and responsibilities to each other as being human and in political order uh, there are fundamental civic operations and civic duties that we have to one another uh, however um, an assumption on, on in those areas shall not be the norm with our people anymore. They, they must know the basics of these principles or civic basics. And this is just simply part of it. Um, and uh, again, uh, why we're addressing this, because so much injury has come to our people, so much loss of property has come to our people by being uh, uh, as cheated via liens coming from actually criminal operatives who have been uh, impersonating as constitutional officers for decades and it must be addressed this bill of particulars is part of that address any questions dr nayo in relationship to some of that because i think even though we have six pages here the nature of it is i think you most already have it there are questions and comments but not necessarily with regard to please don't tell them make it clear so i don't no no they're, don't, they're don't just, around maybe I'm direct. Saying, they may not be directly related to what you're saying they, you know there are other yeah. things that are out here uh let me see yeah i mean there are, there are questions and comments but they're definitely not necessarily huh? they're, they're not um in regards in relation to what you are speaking oh. on to subject oh. matter all right. So um, then I'll go into um, like, well, here's a comment I I'll share um, from Tracy Holcomb Bay. There is only one de jour government on the land. Everyone else is active. You got that right. And so actors are imposters. Mm -hmm. And this must be in the co this must be cognizant to everyone. Again, this is also why you do uh, Corwantos. Because that must be cleared up. 
In other words, uh, also, as we and many people are trying to help our people uh, get from under this uh, artificial subjugation and uh, uh, non begear and straw man operations, that must be, these principles must be part of your cognitive operations or your cognitive thought processes. And it's, and, it's, and, and it's not and it's not to be made at all or ever complex. This is why we're just talking to principles. And, and it's back to also people um, starting to get themselves in the state of mind of questioning people who claim to be government and doing it competently. And knowing the proper questions to ask, not assumption, not assuming anything. Because actually, as soon as they answer the first two or questions, etc., they're already out of the box anyway. However, much of this is to contribute to the learning curve of the people uh, who have been devoid or have been not uh, told these facts. And as example, even when you're uh, dealing with um, the Inquisition Revenue Services who are trying to put liens on people, etc. You would go to United States Code of Law, uh, Title 26 uh, CFR Code of Federal Regulations. And as you already know, that is a non de jour and it's ex, ex, fact, ex uh, post de facto. And it's a colorable code. So you, once you understand that, you would or automatically have a reference point to even counter them with the established law that they're claiming to be operating with, et cetera, or the authorization, and it's all, already dead and void. And this is, again, why they don't teach civics. So a thief, logically, uh, and a people, this is why they, they spend so much time or effort at, uh, keeping the people or in the in the general what you call populist of uh, battling against each other uh, arguing fake race arguments and things like that to keep you from paying attention to the fact that the people have you been blindly and wrongfully and unfortunately claiming to be government has actually been um enmitous to you and actually been robbing you under a color of law and with hostility and with force of arms and using the tax stolen from you to create other entities to rob you and to injure you and to imprison you even further when you begin to counter their false claims this is again why many people once they find the truth out about the frauds that have been instituted they start hesitating because they are full of fear they're full of fear because the people who have been claiming to be your public service servants, you begin to recognize, and they see that you recognize that they have really been your enemies. Unfortunate truth, but truth nonetheless. And you better learn to deal with it. And particularly many people who have, uh, you know, uh, been sacrificing generations uh, in the name of honoring or respecting or giving honor to people who have you been assuming assuming to be legitimately or constitutionally elected uh, officers, that whole platform has been compromised again since 1861. And not only have, have your alleged votes never counted, all of the elections have been rigged under de facto operations from then to now. Uh, unfortunate, but it's true. That's not to condemn people's goodwill or trying to um, adhere themselves to or align themselves with um, the republic honor of constitution government. However, that's not what you've been getting, and you need to know that uh, that that's the fact. That's not opinion. It's, that's the fact. And again, um, in order to rebut them, you do it with intelligence, not with violence. You can do it with intelligence, with a bill of particulars. When they send you something, asking you questions and sign, you send them something and ask them questions and tell them to sign it and see if they do. I guarantee you they won't. 
because they know they're criminals. The problem with it is they know that the masses of the people are not aware and have not been aware that they have been organized criminals and members of the Circle Church and Chantry. And they've been causing most of the economic problems that you've ever experienced in all of your lives. And that's the truth. And understand some devil or Satan didn't do it to you. So don't let them play that game with you either. And also the graves from the dark side of the moon didn't do it to you either. These people that you've been calling government did it. And people that they have contracted at your expense to actually operate against you and to cause injury to you, economic, social, and political. Fact, fact, fact. Now you also can go on. Now remember on each one of these questions that you present to them, you have a section for them to fill out. It's like they've been sending stuff to you to fill out. And these are yes or no and qualification answers. Now, number 10, this is the agent who was who had who had sent this um, bill of attainder out in the name of taxation to, to this brother in 20, um, 2014, and this is his question back to him. Daniel O'Brien, are you a member of the United States of America Congress? Are you member or members of the United States of America legislative branch of government, or are you a private corporation contractor? Answer, yes or no. Number 11. Are you, Daniel O'Brien, an employee or private contractor of the International Revenue Service, or are or have you been delegated by the du jour Congress for the United States to act in a legislative or executive capacity? If so, please indicate herein and show all instrumentalities and provide all copies of affidavits or affirmations or delegations order orders and executive orders for our investigation and particularly under the rule of discovery answer yes or no note and this is an interjection note. House Joint Resolution 192, issued by the 73rd Congress for the United uh, uh, of the United States, not for the United States. First session, joint resolution to assure, assure uniform value to the coins and currencies of the United States, whereas the holding of or dealing in gold affects the public interest and therefore subject to proper regulation and restriction. And whereas the existing emergency alleged has disclosed that provisions of obligations which purport to give the obligee a right to require payment in gold or a particular kind of coin or currency of the United States or in an amount of money of the United States measured thereby obstruct the power of the Congress to regulate the value of money of the United States and are inconsistent with the declared policy of the Congress to maintain at all times the equal power of every dollar coined or issued by the United States in the markets and in the payment of debts. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Senate and the House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled that every provision contained in or made with respect to any obligation which purports to give the obligee the right to require payment in gold or particular kind of coin or currency or in any amount of money of the United States measured thereby is declared to be against public policy and no such provision contained in or made with respect to any obligation hereafter incurred and every obligation hereafter or heretofore incurred 
whether or not any such provisions is contained therein or made with respect thereto shall be discharged upon payment dollar for dollar in any such coin or currency which at the time is legal tender for public and private debts and any such provision contained in any law authorizing obligations to be issued by or under the authority of the United States is hereby repealed, but the repeal of any such provision shall not invalidate any other provision or authority contained in such law. Now, since the tax collector, Daniel Bryant, is and are all doing business as the state of New Jersey Township of Pensacola Incorporated Board of Taxation, Division of Revenue Collection, and the Tax Assessor Office, and are demanding money and payment for a taxation, then are any of you employees or contractors of any national, are you members of any national banking association? And are any of your companies or departments lawfully or lawful, are they lawful financial institutions registered with the Comptroller of Currency of the United States Department of Treasury, Department of Justice, and authorized to do banking in accordance with Title 12 Code of Federal, excuse me, you're skipping on me again over there, messing with me. Oh, this is just so funny. Um, so uh, keep in mind all of these activities that they're doing are are uh, consist of constructive fraud, illegal securitization, securitization. In other words, they're making securities unlawfully, and racketeering in violation of the RICO Act. That's racketeering influence corrupt organizations, and that would be Title U.S. Code. Of 1963, Section A, B, C, D, 3, in violation of the General Assembly's right of indigenous people. And that's also 1786, 1787, 1836 Treaty. In force. Um, and so you have care of uh, carbon, this will be um, CC to the, to the FOFR. Uh, Daniel O'Brien, Jr., tax collector, Township of Pensalkin, Incorporated Tax Office, 5605 North Crescent Boulevard, Pensalkin, New Jersey, 0811. And keep this in mind, put this in context with 2014. And um, at, the, at that time, Kim Guadagno, New Jersey State uh, Secretary of State, New Jersey Department of State, P.O. Box 300, Trenton, New Jersey, 08625. And then witness, trustee, jurist, in propria persona, Moorish American, natural heir, sovereign freeholder, propria uh, uh, plena, propria, uh, uh, propietas plena, aboriginal minister, etc. Um, and that's pretty much the closeout, although there's other stuff in between. Hey, they messing with this stuff, but that's the nature. And um, so you start um, comprehending the duty and the obligations of the nationals and the citizens. Keep in mind, this is the the duty, not just a, a point of reference that you should have knowledge of. It is actually the duty of the nationals and the citizens to enforce the law. So you've been negligent. We collectively have been negligent. And our responsibilities and our duties as nationals, being the national of the land, and so that would deal with treaty and impose uh, uh, constitutional in, uh, uh, enforcement to the subjects, etc. And those who are citizens, their obligation to do the same to enforce the treaty and the constitution. Failure to have done so has uh, has um, appeared to consent to uh, criminal operatives uh, imposing themselves under fraud elections to be government, and they've been operating since 1861 quite successfully to both undermine the republic in, in order to undermine the treaties and the constitution, and they've been doing so quite successfully, and they've been actually fraudulently 
uh, commanding a Roman tithe under the guise of property tax, which is also a fraud. And the people have been trained to that under animal husbandry. And they have been practicing or consenting to it, not knowing that not only does it not apply to them, not only that they have been misclassified and uh, that it is absolute criminal fraud. However, uh, to your interest, to the interest of all of us, it is uh, good and it is well that you begin to uh, start putting these criminal operatives who have been uh, uh, impostering our government in their place by stop cooperating uh, and giving extortion taxes in on, under false pretexts in a misclassification uh, misclassification venue um, of color of law and color of office and color of operations, which has been going on, and unfortunately has actually been used to enforce the fraud upon you. So these instrumentalities, such as Bill of Particulars and Quarantos, is a public record of rebuttal. And they are challenged to answer that just the way they've asked you to answer. And with that, I uh, see to the people to ask any questions. Because the nature of the principle is uh, shared. Okay, Bill, let me see. Taxation. This question. Well, how does this apply? Um, Aviomi Ross says, How does this ask? How does this apply to Canada? It applies to all governments. And keep in mind that Canada and the United States Corporation have the same international number. They both come under the Circle Church and Chancery and the Queen of England. The, the idea that most people have that these are separate jurisdictions that is more for the public than, than the fact. In other words, they're actually in partnership pretending to be separate jurisdictions only for the public. And also- But in fact, but in fact they are conjoined members of the Roman Curia. And they also appear to have um, very strained trade deals, but like you said, they are one and the same. They are, yes, yes. And if you notice, um, uh, often when they're making uh, any public uh, announcements, they will emphasize the, disti the, the distinction of the jurisdictions mm -hmm. as different nation states. When the, the uh, prime ministers of, of Canada knows that president is a corporate, is a corporate construct and not a national construct, construct. And this is very important for people to comprehend that. And this is back to, again, even the problem that we have among our people, people always talking about nation, 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 nation of this, nation of that, and then not teach nationality. And they have never gone challenged. They have never been challenged. And it, it is a, it is a violation, a severe, severe mental, social, and political violation against the people to talk about anything concerning nation, self-determination, etc., and not tell the truth about nationality. It is a horrible violation against the people. And of course, because that violation has been inculcated in society, you can you can see why many people are not even aware of how these things apply or don't apply and that they never applied to them factually in the first place and that they were allowed to be imposed upon them as application is a part of the fraud and of course the people themselves must reclaim their estate they must be willing it's sort of like this how would it be that anyone would be willing to defend the birthright of any man, woman, or woman who is not willing to stand up for their own birthright. And it'd be the obligation of another to stand in defense of someone who is unwilling to defend themselves, and that is a divine right, a divine obligation. And this is back to 
even like um if people would for those of uh, uh, who have been um uh, who have been uh, taught some fundamental civics in a civic order as such as say the Moorish Temple of Science, uh, they would look in the in the Circle Seven Quran uh, as an example of uh, Chapter Twenty Nine. Uh, to get a, uh, also a concept of uh, the sovereignty of the people. And those as fundamental civic principle. And that applies to people in general. So don't don't look at it because it's coming from uh, active or conscious mores that it applies to us and doesn't apply to others. It applies to everyone. It is universal in its character. Um, here are a couple of questions asking... Um, your take on the fact that the Florida Florida Governor um, DeSantis just signed a bill into law about civics. Well, I would look at uh, DeSantis and look at um, uh, the nature of, or what you would call the momentum that has taken place since Donald uh, J. Trump has been in office for the United States um, that uh, anyone that starts teaching civics is definitely being influenced by donald trump for the restoration of treaty and constitution uh, enforcement relative to the republic distinguished from the corporation operations which uh, it has a lot to do with the controversy that surrounds donald trump now that's a fact but it is indeed necessary for the people. Because of course, most of you who've done, who studied the works of Noble Drew Ali, known as Professor Drew, know that from the beginning, he has been telling the people to enforce the constitution. And that has been an integral part of the Moorish divine and national movement. Of course, that's been breached by many too, which you also know which is also uh, one of the reasons why um, we have been fortunate um, to even have a platform like this that Dr. Dr. Nayela has maintained for all these years, whereas some of these things that has been suppressed in other platforms has been shared openly, even though we're still, you know, been uh, uh, restricted by virtual of uh, uh, censorship uh, for the restoration of the republic and so when you're talking about the restoration of the republic you're talking about constitutional enforcement and treaty enforcement at the same time you must know that relationship and so if you see DeSantis and others talking about civics guarantee that they're teaching they're they're leaning toward teaching proper government and de jure government distinguished from de facto This is on a different subject, but there were a couple of questions that were the same. I, I believe this is the same. Um, there was a, an earlier question about all of the bodies. Um, what what was your your take on all of the bodies being found um, in in Canaan land? And then another question said, "Please speak on the massacre in Canada." And, no, I'm yeah, I'm good. saying the the question about speaking on the massacre in Canada. I'm believe I believe that it may be the same thing. You know that yeah, recently. That they found um, all the bodies of these indigenous or aboriginal children. Yes. We were aware of that. Um, mm -hmm. The person wanted to know, I mean, the individual wanted to know if you were aware of that. Of and we are aware of that. But We've I don't been know what... aware before they published it. Yeah, so. You know, the deal of it is the general public has not been aware of it on some degree and in denial of it on another level. It's not so much people haven't been aware of it. They've been in denial because they've been defending the corporations and the persons who they've been calling government while deep inside fearing them, knowing that they were murderers. And all yeah. uh, what you would call little people sacrificers. Yeah, we yeah, we were we were told that uh melanated uh uh blood was very desirable. To, Absolutely, to because because so-called royals who would come over there and 
exactly because of the energy and the melanin. They even used it for years to trying to artificially create or recreate the melanin or the spacesuit for the atmosphere of the solar system known as melatonin. They've been murdering our people for centuries. And this is back to Unum Sanctum Operations Dum Diversus and our people being diverted into the fake race argument to divert them from what's really been going on for centuries. And that is cannibalism, little people sacrifice, stealing of their organs, and stealing of their crystal stream that you know as plasma. And sexually, you know, well, I can't say we S whatever they call that. Well, you already know what it is. The rich, the abuse, they've been abused. And and this is back to, you know, like when you read the Christian Black Codes where people have falsely been blaming Allah, Jesus, Muhammad, and Buddha um, for the organizations that they've been calling churches and mosques, etc., cetera, um, that they actually had nothing to do with and that have actually been platforms for the actual opposite energy operators who've been calling themselves and that must still must be qualified if you want to say satanists and luciferians because those words are misused too and that will be a totally different conversation but they have used the different uh, even planetary energy designations that are ancient and corrupted them for their own personal use to do demonic things so the best thing that you could call them all uh, to be fair to Satan and devil type thing would be simply demons. Here's a question from Maquan White. Do you need to go through the MSTA to nationalize properly or is there another way? Now, uh, I already sense the nature of the question coming from probably experiences that, that has been uh, entertained by by the question and therefore the qualification but I will say this keep this in mind your Moorish birthright has nothing to do with any organization entity whatsoever for it is divine and it is natural any organization that attenuates any activity in relationship to it is a political act or platform by which by the structure of organization numerical organization and principal construct through treaty and constitution is exercised etc but you are moorish by blood by birthright not by any organizational structure don't confuse the two Uh, Noble Eight Path says, Eightfold Path, nationality and naturalization, two different levels. I'm not sure if there they want you two to things. talk about them or just make All it right. as nationalization, a statement. Nationalization, let's, let's make it simple for a novice or for a neophyte. Like say right now, um, right now uh, uh, where we're located, um, in the private office of Dr. Dr. G. Most of you know her as Dr. G, and many of you share time with her with official hours with Dr. G. Office hours. Uh, and um, so right now I'm, I'm speaking from one part, because she has more office area than much more than what you see, uh, including <laughs> downstairs and close upstairs. Um, now, um, her son was here. And we were working together actually um, the other day, helping to clean up and do a few things that we're doing around here, you know, uh, uh, rearranging things. Um, in a principle of law, her son would be what you would call the, na the native or the national. Myself or others who would help 
are welcomed and we would be welcomed at the table even when she cooks and does her exotic cooking and stuff like that however our our rights or would be privileges under naturalization her son's right would be under nationalization that would be the distinction when you apply that in the nature of the extended families that we know as nations all around the planet when it comes to the actual people of the land they would be the nationals or the true sovereign right claimants in that geographical territorial jurisdiction etc and per of uh, people who would come from other political jurisdictions if they're in any social political agreement for stay or operations in that jurisdiction or territory uh, from a lawful perspective of documented operations their position would be naturalization so as an example if you or i left uh the maghreb morocco the most extreme west north america morocco uh and went to uh say um manchuria what you call china and we wanted to um uh, rightfully and lawfully make stay there for uh say education we're going to be there for a few years for an education at some university or to do some research anthropological or otherwise uh then we uh and plan to have uh stay there for quite some time we would be come naturalized chinese citizens chinese would not be the pedigree chinese would be the political jurisdiction under naturalization but if national you cannot be chinese national unless you are chinese by pedigree you see the point likewise with russia or any other uh political jurisdictional territorial nation state so the principle between nationalization and naturalization would be naturaliz nationalization would refer to the to the de jure people or citizens of a particular nation state and that of granted privilege temporary rights conditionally for what you would call an alien or foreigner entering into or doing business in another political uh, jurisdiction such beings would be nat naturalized and so the naturalization acts would deal with them taking allegiance to the enforcement and maintenance of treaties and constitutions according to that nation state and this is why because these practices have been violated by virtue of colonial operations in 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 contemporary times which is why they've been telling people falsely that a driver's license is an identification card <laughs> and getting away with it <laughs> and this is also why until recent years because of the problems that they've created you haven't seen uh per people who have been allegedly representatives of different nation states why you have not been hearing them talking about national identity cards but because it's been corrupting the political economic platforms of nations around the world you're hearing more and more people who claim to be government talking about national ids <laughs> this is funny but you never see them enforcing it because the point of this they're private corporations and people who have been pretending to be nationals when in fact they're not <laughs> were not and are not kind of caught in kind of a catch-22 situation for them Questions. <laughs> okay so here's a question well here i'll do this one. this came up a couple times um they uh, who is it that wants to know um tariq wants to know brother taj are you familiar with the sister out of georgia chief Janice? dealing with the land patents the land patents basically have been issued by um 
hybrid Europeans among themselves to steal our land. Uh, and though that process in, in, in its principle uh, should be correct, but the people of the land have what you call Aboriginal claims superior to all of those instrumentalities. However, superior to the mortgages and deed claims is the land patent that is acknowledged. Here's another question, and I had to pull up my poem because I feel like I can, you can respond to it, but I also want to share this poem. Yeah. Um, Reynard G. Hines says, so if, if it's a God, what is he or she waiting for? Or is God in us and we need to act? Now, again, I'm glad that question was asked because it's also part of the paradigm of the purging that must take place among humanity because there's an assumption of the God position that is totally and has been totally incorrect. And that must be worked out. And so in the nature of the question on the surface, the question is noted because the question truthfully has been a part of the mental mind control training that the people have received, thinking that God means the creator when it does not. God is a verb transitive that means to call upon, to invoke, and to pour out, and is not a being whatsoever, nor is it the creator. Although the word is loosely attached to the source or the creative sources uh, taken as one, etc., and has been generally accepted. And often we will use that word in uh, implying the creative forces. However, it is an improper usage, unfortunately, but that's true too. And that must be worked out. And so therefore by people assuming that it means the creator, often people would construct in their mind, how can God stand by and let all this BS go on? And how come he or she or it ain't doing their job? because the assumption has been that the God is uh, going to save us or rescue us when the real deal, the rescue will be within, it, it's in you, i.e. that's the truth. Can I share um, when we gonna be yes. as a response to that? Yes. Okay, so this is a poem I wrote 2016, July. It says, it's called when we gonna be, and hopefully this, this is also answering your question trying to figure out who we really want to be, but still fighting and settling for a false identity that distorts and conceals our true nationality while trading places with the real enemy. Wake up, get up. When we really going to see? Do you know why there's no ground on which to stand? Because we're looking for redemption unaware we're on our land. They've got us focused on returning to one small patch of ground when throughout the universe can our presence be found. We're embracing his Tory while neglecting the glory of our ancient existence and deity. Truth is living like thugs and paupers is the real tragedy. We protest and march blindly like lemmings off an edge, but can't find time to study for some real knowledge. Pro predictably programmed for social response and reaction oblivious to the fact that we're being strategically distracted by the coordinated efforts of so-called deep state factions. Will our ignorance help their plan to depopulate the land so we bought robotic AI becomes their newest slaves as we continually cry out to their mythos, what must I do to be saved? Or will we rise above their lies and reconnect with the most high who's not distant in the skies but inside you where true divinity resides. Time to call forth the divine spark of light that decided with determined and might to journey nine months to a distant world to take up residence in a baby boy or girl. See, I'm not trying to raise a stink, but I am trying to get you to think on a more critical level. You must know who is the real devil and not be fooled by what you're shown. The jig is up, their cover is blown. This stuff ain't real, it's all a dream tied to an elaborate hocus pocus scheme to keep everyone ignorant and under subjection and the world in chaos in need of correction. See, they've never played fair. They play straight down the middle. And right now, most folks being played like a fiddle. So we must stop looking for help to come from a system that was designed to keep us trapped without wisdom. I know for a fact, we are the answer we desire to see. 
So tell me, my people, when we gonna be? Mm. Ashe. Ashe. It is us. See, this is the deal. We've been trained under animal husbandry for so many generations to look for uh, some demigods to come and save us from forced servitude and a uh, foreign unum sanctum, dumb diversus, colonial operations and occupation that we forgot that that whole paradigm of thinking was introduced to us, but was not in the nature of the philosophies or the religions of our forefathers, but actually is a total mind control social solace system that was introduced to us generationally, uh, generationally and gradually to the point that we confuse that with our Asiatic African ancestors of uh, Coptic philosophies of which it has no part. Here's another question from Daniel Tavares. Um, how wants to know how this connects to the warnings issued about the coming global life support si system collapse and bio warfare. Yes, it, it acts. What you're seeing is the doctrine of discovery, unum sanctum, intercatera divinus um, uh, operations actually being in fact and in reality countered for real on a global scale. That's what's going on. And so the dark priesthood that has been ruling the world, particularly since the fall of the Moors, and the run out of out, out of running of the Moors out of Iberia, and they will call it one of the ce uh, celebrations that they call it is uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day, tag. and they also refer to it as Tag Day. Uh, and they also refer to it in the negative, um, with a negative connotation that is not properly comprehended or taught. Uh, they'll say they're running the snakes out of Ireland. And since then, they have been corrupting both the culture, the different terms, they are corrupting the, the root true knowledge of the snakes and serpent, etc., mis misjudging deliberately all of that culture, uh, distinguished from its relationship metaphorically to the act operations of Kundalini, etc., uh, and has used the corruption and the dark side of Babylonian magic for ruling the world and have actually contaminated the whole world and have people actually hating their own culture because it's being misrepresented by the hybrid Europeans and also causing them to reject their own culture, not knowing the metaphorical and, and anthropomorphic different systems by which uh, much of the culture has been promoted over the years and therefore uh, not being make it, being able to intelligently and rationally make the distinction be fr between friend and enemy, friend or foe, truth and falsehood, which is what's really taking place on the planet today. However, because the people are beginning to think critically on all fronts and questioning all things, uh, as should be, these things are in the process of working themselves out divinely. And like Noble Drali always said, if I could just get you all thinking again, you, you'd save yourselves. And that is in process right now. And it's not limited to the Aboriginal Moors of North America. It is now operating on the planet at large with all nations, all tribes, all political platforms not admitted by all but that's what's taking place anyway that's why i've reminded people even though you're looking at all uh, logically and properly at all of these things from a uh, metaphysical uh cosmological horoscope uh on the geography of the planet and also on the in uh, the uh, single units of the monads in their horoscopes, etc. I always remind people to also just 
uh, in a more simplistic form. Watch what Uranus is doing. That's not neglecting the issue of Saturn and the other planets, uh, particularly ruling the Aquarian energies at this time. But just look at that, and then you look at the politics, and you'll see how the electrical charge is tearing up all of this stuff. And everything or anything that anyone claims to be or any presentment that they make to the world in the manifest third degree and or third dimensional plane um, that's coming from the nature of the energies of the priesthood from the Piscean era is being dismantled and will not survive in the Aquarian light. And it's accentuated by uh, Uranus. That's not a neglect of a refined analysis, cosmological, but I think that would help a lot of people who are not uh, cosmologically astute yet. Uh, Morsh America asks, do we send our suits to the corporate state courts? You would, whenever there's a claim made, those are essential rebuttals or what you call uh, impropriate persona established for the record status. Because remember, uh, usually when the uh, state, because remember state courts are not constitutional courts, so they're not, they're not courts. They just simply are not. Um, however, because they're um, operating under with the facto authority, this is another reason why you issue bills of return of, 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 of a tender and no, other than your cover sheet of your your status correction, et cetera, is all is needed. Not all your paperwork. That's all. These these writs, uh, fundamentally on the surface, is all they need to know. It be correction of status. So there's no assumed in personam jurisdiction where it does not exist. So when the uh, 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 pre-assumed, because remember the assumed jurisdictional in personam jurisdiction that are operative in most of the instrumentalities that sent to you from them is with the assumptions of jurisdiction of via the nom de guerre or the misclassification of the being in the first place. This is why it's only necessary to eat, send even the cover of the status correction. All the other instrumentality is, on, is not even necessary because it's your business, not theirs. Their only business as being government or claiming to have authority as government, et cetera, in any capacity is enforcement of the constitution and treaty. And if that's not presented to you, um, their, their, their position is fraudulent. They have no other service to you. Keep that in mind. And this is back to the problem also that many people have of expecting things from these people who are claiming government who are not government never was. Government has no rights to give you or to afford you. Government has only duties and obligations via treaty and constitution. If you write that down and keep that in mind, you'll know how you're supposed to be talking to these beings. Okay, Amin Bey asks, since the organic constitution has seven articles and 10 amendments, does that mean everything after the 10th amendment is fraudulent, even if their dates were before the coup d'etat of 1871? They, all things, see, this is the deal. All, all introductions to the constitution for the United States that took place after of 1781, etc., are de facto. That's fact. Okay. Uh, Jean, Patrick Jean Marie asked, um, How do we sue the state's attorney general for damages pro produced by the state of? This is a, again constitutional and treaty because keep in mind treaty and constitutional enforcement is the platform the platform by which all nation states deal with other nation states in international affairs is through a consular venue 
because the people have not been enforcing the Constitution as Duali commanded them to do, Article 3, Section 2 would be indicative of the ministers and the consular positions and the ambassador's positions of any particular nation state to deal with any controversy concerning peoples or properties in the enforcement of treaties. So that would be United States law of a general and permanent character in force, etc. Title 22, uh, chapter 2, no, chapter 2, tw uh, title 22, yeah, chapter 22, uh, uh, section 141, 142, 143, etc. And this is essentially the fundamentals that I've talked about uh, for the last 30 some odd years in lesson book 14A1. 14A, 14A1. Uh, 14A1 is the, is the original text with all of the uh, general uh, uh, footnotes. And 14, lesson book 14, is the general abridged. Uh, copies that have been floating around with people um, for the last uh, 25, 30 years or so. But essentially, what it, that the venue, the proper venue would be consular, and this is where people who claim to be um, government at any, in any framework whatsoever, doesn't matter what club they belong to, what so-called religion they claim, this is universal principle. Your communication platform is from a consular venue with them, not with yourself, but with them. Okay. Here's a question for me, Relieve Chronicle. Um, Dr. G, please ask Todd just how bad is the shadow government secret cloning of everyday <laughs> citizens and replacement Ooh. with nanobot controlled humans? You can see. What you're dealing with when you're talking about shadow government is essentially still Dom Diversus and Unum Sanctum operations. They're given a different name, but it's the same thing. Same entity, same uh, uh, persons by virtue of what is known as corporate court. Write this down, you all. Corporate descendancy. And so the operations of the United States Corporation Company i.e. often referred to as the corporations, etc., is really Unum Sanctum operations. That's the fact. Also known as the U.S. democracy. Same, it is same Unum Sanctum operations. Also known as the U.S. without qualification. Because remember, the United States is a political metaphor that is used by many nation states. As an example, San Salvador is United States. Brazil is United States. Mexico is United States. But that's part of their political designation. But you notice that at North America, there's no national name. As an example, Mexico, North America, and South America, part of North America, of the continent, right? And you'll see Estados uh, Mexico. You'll see um, you uh, see Brazil, um, uh, uh, Estados Unidos do Brasil. So that's the United States of Brazil. That's America. Brazil is America. But you see that Brazil is the nation state. Mexico is the nation state. You notice that the partnership with Canada, the United States, it doesn't say, it doesn't have a national name, it's just a corporate designation, you see? And most people it never pick that up. And many people who, who, particularly those who don't want their so-called members, club members to know civics, never point that out to them because they don't want you to recognize that that you're operating under a, a fraudulent platform. Because many of them um, are, uh, say, what you might say in partnership with some kickbacks in the background. One of the kickbacks is known as the 501c3 corporation or uh, non-disclosure uh, agreement not to rock the boat called 501c3. 
and so they won't tell they won't talk about things that we're talking about because they really never have been and aren't in the business of helping to liberate humanity or the people or help them in self-determination but are in fact uh, cleverly and surreptitiously aiding in their subjugation and getting a benefit for maintaining that dead status this is why you'll see the corporate operators will always promote any so-called organizations that run around calling people black negroes and talk about it matters yeah it matters for them to maintain the color law operations because no such people exist however there is a nom de gear operations of people who are categorized under the christian black codes that are stated as u.s property on the stock market 55 water street where there's marriage certificate birth certificates and other instrumentality that actually fund the criminal operations of the u.s corporation members of the roman curia who have been pretending for a couple of um for over 100 years pretending to be a nation state habits for life wants to know your thoughts on the mothership the mothership or ships see the, 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 the is mothership. singular and affirmative you see but well, the deal of it is let's let's get real yes okay um we've had an in-worlders and off-worlders on um, dealing with us from time immemorial there never was a time when it was then that was not the case uh consciousness of it and qualifications of us doing what you would call rational communications with them on moral and ethical uh platforms has been interrupted uh for quite some time and therefore the people have not been as familiar as they should be with communications past and some that are present that are being held back from you at this particular time but the position is there are many ships from many different star groups so the mothership is kind of like uh making this the not exactly supreme. correct it's like saying it's sort of like uh, saying um the nation that we deal with rather than the nations that we deal with that's a better way of looking at it malik day says well if the land according to taj is morocco then wouldn't we be more hyphen moroccans as the french is french moroccans and spain is spanish moroccans sure because spanish, spanish is a word that's made up to hide moorish history and french is actually not hybrid european but actually central africa so what's your point well i guess he's asking no, there's me. an assumption that french means hybrid european that's what it is and i just corrected it it's african it's berber And this is back to people, you know, uh, uh, people not comprehending or the history of Iberia and thinking that as soon as you say you're, you're, you're talking about the hybrids. Nope, you're talking about Iberia. If you're talking about Spain, how about Al Andalusia? You know, this is again um, how, how the reconstruction of history has actually put our people into a state of what is called denial and also this is why psychiatrists often when they refer to many of the Asiatics of North America they they have problems dealing with our people socially economically and political politically because it is known that our people most of our people exists in a state of what is known as disassociation write that down so understand why they don't necessarily uh speak to you directly in your face about it this is the view that most people that come from other nation states are already made aware of when having to deal with our people in north america that these people suffer for, suffer from disassociation 
So don't seek to have a rational conversation with them. However, they will make you rich if you use fundamental international laws and establish business in their territories because they have no knowledge of a state or right of a state and they will make you wealthy. JK wants to know why you call Earth Midgard Earth. Because that's the name of this particular Earth. It's not the only Earth. The fact that people, Earth simply means inhabited place. And the fact that uh, the people have been uh, not taught the truth about not only their Asiatic African history, they have not been taught their um, the truth about this firmament that we know as the planet Earth. The planet Earth that we have known is a general statement given to Midgard, which is the name, the nomenclature for this particular Earth. Go into your older dictionaries prior to probably 1960 and go look up Midgard. It is the habitation of man. Okay, it's another question. Dave's asking a lot of questions. If Noble Drew Ali derives his authority from the great Quran of Muhammad, why did he deposit our authority in a corporate deposit and not in a Moorish government. You already understand and comprehend that Drew Ali established government. He established the civic organization known as the Moorish Holy Temple of Science. He adopted the affidavit, the religious affidavit in 1928 because the infiltration of the movement under COINTELPRO operations led by the FBI, uh, and particularly uh, uh, metered under the J. Edgar Hoover administration known as COINTELPRO, Although they only admit those operations in around 1966, they've always been operative and ran from the Circle Church in Chancery or Fleet Street, England, that has been operating all the judicial systems and operations at North America under a color of law and under deception of the colonial operations of the United States, which is a colonial offshoot uh, from Austria belonging to the Popes of Rome and the Jesuit order and the Queen of England in their Trinity operations, which you will see demonstrated with the flag that's flown at Washington, D.C. with the three stars and the two bars. There you go. Raleigh did what was necessary at the time for the preservation and the learning and the erudition of our people, and he made it very clear, know this to be the truth. The half has not been told. If I told you everything, you would go back to sleep. Study. And study well. And when you would have studied well and would ask me what to study next, I would reply, study yourselves. That's your answer. Uh, Magneto TV says, looks like to me there will be another 1871 all over again. That's what's going on right now, except it's being reversed. It's absolutely what's going on right now. The same coup d'etat that took place against the Abraham Lincoln administration is the same coup d'etat that was executed against Donald Trump. Don't look at him as the single unit being. Look at him as a face to a principle. Don't get caught in personalities. Look at principle. Jay, Jay Kane asks, if I was forced to sell my house due to an increase in property taxes, is it possible to sue the tax collection authority? Of course. The deal of it is, but now this is back, isn't this back to the bill of particulars that we're talking about now? Didn't we open up by letting you know that tax on private property is unlawful. So are we addressing the issue of selling your estate when you don't want to do it being forced? Then that's a fraud, isn't it? So that's a criminal action, isn't it? And what if, and you know, this is where we've been leaning for quite some time, trying to get our people to a level of consciousness that they would redirect their energies that have been wasted in for generations in different clubs and organizations that have not addressed the reality of the loss of their birthright. 
The real deal is that the people should be, in general, firing these people with official documents and also suing them in their per, per, in their private and alleged official capacity via international venue through consular venue, constitutional and treaty violations, etc., and thereby uh, taking taking their power away from them. But you already know because they're organized criminals, and that the Circle Church and Chantry Crown members control the corporate state courts that there is no due process in those courts. That's again why we've been telling people for decades to enforce the Constitution for the United States, which enforces the treaties. The venue is Article Three courts. Read it and it becomes obvious to you that we ourselves have been violating ourselves by not approaching all of our matters with them relative to persons and property via a consular court venue. This is why they don't teach it. It's why they don't teach civics, because they don't want you to know that. And this is why a lot of Moors that have been less than honorable get upset when we mention Article 3, Section 2 of the Constitution for the United States, because the, the venue for the communication of diversity of nationality is consular court. And that's a fact. Doesn't mean whether people like it or not, or whether they agree or not. That's the established law of the land. Okay, this question is for me. Okay. Uh, from I am Empress Europa L. I'd like Dr. G to speak on the old Pisces era with her having a pastoral background. I'm curious to know if she was exposed to this information at any point. Only at the point of my spontaneous awakening on December 18th, 2010, when I had my out-of-body experience. But up until that point, going through Bible college, getting the, you know, all the way up to a doctorate degree, never. Twice. Yeah, I got, you know, a bachelor's and a master's and a doctorate in theology. No, I was not exposed to this. I was given the dogma to teach other people the dogma, but the awakening came from outside of myself Give and them I, a quick synopsis no, they need well, to know it just this. it just you know it don't I, tell me. Give i me a quick synopsis. i was sitting in a prayer breakfast and i literally i left my body sitting in a chair and um missed the whole service and when i came back into my body everything was almost was over and um i was given a mandate to reawaken minds to stop lying no stop lying is what said and tell the truth and so the truth began when I said, okay, the truth began coming down to me in downloads and floods. And um, later on, um, several months later, I found um, uh, information by, I think, Zachariah Stitchin and um, the other guy. And a lot of the stuff that had come to me in downloads was in their materials. Um, but it came to me from as a download. So no, I did not get this, any of this information um, when I was actually pastoring, but what I attempted to do was to bring it to the congregation and they rejected it heavily, called me a witch and uh, some other things, tried to throw me out of the ministry that I started, but that ministry evolved into House of Reawakening Minds. And so that's why we're where we are now, um, 10 years later. <laughs> that answers your question. Let me see if there is another question. Uh, what, what? Okay. Habits for life. Why is it the facto gov, facto corporation giving so much private paper notes to those who file taxes? I don't think it's for relief. It's for dependency and to make themselves relevant because they're being made irrelevant. Keep in mind, those of you who have been keeping up with the House of Reawakening Minds for these last 11 years that we've been sharing through the Moors Order Roundtable, we told you years ago that the nations of the earth were going to stop dealing or trading with the United States Corporation and that they would stop buying U.S. Treasury bonds and that it was only a matter of time that you would start having a feedback loop. 
If many of you have been with us at the House of Reawakening Mind for the last 11 years, you'll know that we've been telling people this for quite a few years. What you see is that taking place right now. So a lot of the political dynamics that you see taking place now is in fact what we told you what would happen already. So therefore, what you have is a, a rejection of trade. They're disguising it with viruses and everything else, but the reality is, is that they're not accepting the private commercial paper of the Circle Church and Chancery operators, also known as the Federal Reserve Board for the United States Corporation of Austria under the Secret Treaty of Verona, and they're not doing business with them. And therefore, I, I'm sure that many of you have noticed how lumber prices have gone up triple and sometimes quadruple and that they've been jacking up the gas prices and that they have been artificially restricting the, the, um, the uh, service lines to the uh, gas, etc., and uh, figuring out more ways to rob and tax the people because the fact of the matter is is that their source of revenues is being choked off by the rest of the civilized world. Although, although they still have their shadow government criminal operations and military complex and pharmaceutical complex that they've been using against the people, which is, pardon me, which is being exposed in more and more by themselves, by their blatant activities, etc. And so the economic problems that the people are suffering from is because their attachment to them. And the fact that, the, that they, they refuse to render under Caesar what is Caesar's, they're suffering the results of Caesar's works. And this is, again, back to the necessary fact for the people to declare their nationality and start declaring their loss to state. And again, uh, part of it, and this is a small part of it, is what we're talking about now, which is the Bill of Particulars, uh, in relationship to their bills of attainder, that they've been issued in the issuing in the name of their taxing the nationals and the people of the land to save their defunct and bankrupt corporation that has been guised or uh, imposed upon the world as a nation state, which it was not, is not, and never will be. I'm just going to say, Lawrence Gray Wolf, I've already asked you to read post your question. I cannot see it. After a while, we can't see, we can't go back. So I don't see your question. Please stop asking me to ask it. Just repost it. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Kenneth, K Kenneth Martin asks, is, um, should we have open lines of communication with our Sultan? Now, this is the deal. Know the difference between empire and kingdom. And comprehend that the empire has been invaded. You're looking for superiority to yourself when it's actually you. This is back to us, the people of the north, getting organized and enforcing the, the existing law. Because as you already know, most of the jurisdictions around the world have been compromised with puppets. It's not to degrade or disparage anyone, but to tell you the truth of the politics. This is why it's necessary to teach our people civics, because they keep looking outside of themselves for the cure, and the cure is with you. Furthermore, for those of you who may not comprehend what's going on in this Aquarian light and energy, the political platforms as you have known them are being dissolved anyway and they're not going to function as they have most of these exercises that you're doing now mentally and politically are necessary for your development to actually jump you up into higher degrees of comprehension and of operations anyway by necessity of you us being stagnated for so many generations and so many of the things that we have been, been aspiring to do for these past years as an exercise, understand and comprehend that they've only been exercises, but necessary exercises, but you're going to graduate far beyond that, both technologically and by what you would call ethereal spiritual development. 
however these exercises are necessary for you to handle the radical and I mean actual radical changes that you're experiencing and that are going to accelerate by the day. That's with all due respect to all people's positions. This person, this individual rather, we reposted their question. Uh, I don't, I don't see. Just trying to find your questions. Oops. Private side. What happened? Comments. They disappear after a while. <laughs> Yeah, you apologize. Explain them. They move yeah, so they, fast. Yeah, they move so fast and then on. they disappear. Yeah. Um, the earlier ones disappear. So that's why I can't, you know, so to keep asking over and over, I can't, I, I can't ask what I can't see. I do apologize that I didn't see it. Uh, oh, someone says, yes, Taj, lumber, uh, need really, lumber is quadruple. We know that. we but that's what we've been telling you all for years so that you can prepare yourselves. Yeah, Patricia T. Oh, Tia, Sister Tia says, um, can you briefly address the Bay Islands millennials on right now regarding nationality? They have been academically oppressed by the, op oh, the suppression yeah. of their mother tongue, English, and miseducated in Spanish. Now keep in mind, keep in mind, there's no such language as Spanish. That's Moorish Latin. That belongs to you. And English is, is simply what you would call Gullah, Creole, trade language, and that's universal. So don't look at it as belonging just to the hybrids that deal with the, the international trade of Phoenicians, which is also yourself. A lot of times we keep assuming or condemning things that actually belong to us by associating it only with the hybrid Europeans just because of the corruption that humanity has been experiencing this last hundred and so years, etc. However, understand that corruption has been on all sides and it's not just the hybrid Europeans who have been corrupt, it is also many of the Moors who have been corrupt. And so these fundamental principles must be taught back to you in order for us to together in many fronts start fixing this corruption that all of us have participated in, some deliberately and some through mind control um, and miseducation. However, the results has been damaged to the humanity, to humanity at large. Thus, the Morris Divine and National Movement was established officially as a countermeasure to the Unum Sanctum operations. Does it mean that the people that are exercising this knowledge are, are more correct or more right than anyone else? It means there's a sincere platform effort to help in the uplifting of fallen humanity. And we have to pull each other's coattail constantly to keep us on the right path. I yield the floor. Okay. Well, we said we were only gonna we said we were only gonna do First of all, let me let let us um, kind of give you a back story as to why we started an hour late. Um, we had a um, massive electrical we had an electrical area. area. Yeah, the, the the electricity went out in the area, so we had to push it back so that we make sure it was back on <laughs> by the time we could actually go on because it doesn't let you go on if you're ten minutes late on the system. So we pushed it back an hour. Um, but Grand Chic has been working um, in my on my project, my home remodel project. Um, I'm seeing feverishly over the last. How long have you been here? Mm, Forty years. Yeah, yeah right. he is right. tired, and rightfully so. Um, so we were we're not going to go until eleven thirty. Um, we hope you do understand. Um, he does need to get get some rest because I can attest to the fact. That he has been working feverishly, but we do appreciate, you know, your un overstanding and understanding and your patience um, with um, what we're doing. You know what I mean? And and your support is greatly appreciated. 
and you know we appreciate you. I do have an announcement. Many of you have asked that are in, um, not even all, all of you that are domiciling close, but many are asking, when are we going to do, are you going to do live, in-person, meet and greet type sessions? Starting um, August 27th, which is the fourth Friday, and we're going to try to do it on every fourth Friday. So we're literally adding a third day because we're still going to do our first and third Friday lives, uh, live streams, excuse me. But on the fourth Fridays, we're also going to try to live stream it. But those are going to be, um, that's going to be our in-person where you'll be able to literally come to the House of Reawakening Minds. So mark your calendar for uh, Friday, August 27th. 2021, when we come back together, and those of you who've been, you know, really, really anxious to get here and to um, be up close and personal with Grand Chic and even myself, um, please, by all means, put that on your calendar. Um, the doors will open um, at 6.30 on the 27th, and um, we'll start the class or whatever Grand Chic decides to do um, at 7.30. And we hope that those of you who can attend will attend. We have limited space. So um, if you are planning to come from a distance, you know, just kind of reach out and make sure, you know, I'm going to try to keep counts on uh, tabs on the numbers so that we don't uh, have, uh, try to pack, you know, more than we can actually uh, reasonably fit in the building. So we thank you so much for your patience because it's been over a year, Grand Chic, since we've done an in-person um, class in the, well, you've done. And so the 27th of August, um, we're coming back together. Um, we're going to try to make it special. Maybe have some, I don't know, some vendors and some, you know, vegan food and some other things there. But August 27th, um, meet us at House of Reawakening Minds. And uh, we look forward to the end of our avenue. Yes. And uh, I want to thank uh, many of the mothers and sisters and brothers uh, who over over these um, trying months and wounds have been supporting the House of Reawakening Minds. And many of you, you know, we can't thank you directly. Uh, in the future, we may just men mention your, your first attributes, you know, keep it private, etc. But know that we appreciate you. Um, and uh, also, please subscribe to Dr. G's new YouTube channel. Uh, and as Dr. G is official, and uh, guess what? Because people have been calling from all over the place, and we only need 179 more subscribers are needed in order for the channel to go live. So keep that in mind. So please subscribe. Please subscribe. Dr. G's new uh, YouTube channel, Dr. G is official. Please subscribe. And I also thank you for aiding and supporting both economically and socially the House of Reawakening Minds. So please go to your YouTube and search for Dr. G is official and subscribe and have a grand evening. Thank you. We appreciate you. And Grand Sheik is going to get some shut eye. <laughs> Thank you. See you next time. Deeper and deeper I go. Find what it is I should know. Cause it's just a matter of time. But you'll reawaken your mind. Oh, come with me. Come to know and find out what is true. Then you'll know what's in store just for you. No more living a lie. I can look to the sky. And say, I'm reawakening mine. Come to know and find out what is true, yes. Then you know what's in store just for you. No more living a lie. I can look to the sky and say, I'm reawakening mine.